everyone. My name is Rini from the Edwin's Talk Show. So um, it has been in my heart uh, wanting to be sharing some like 10 minutes, 10 to 15 minutes video clips. Um, so this is what I'll be doing and this is the first one. Uh, so I'll just be sharing the things that resonates to my heart. I'll be sharing the things that I know that somebody else would find valuable. I'll be sharing things from my personal experience uh, and also from other people that I know have gone through the same uh, pathway, have been through the same things and they have come out of it and what has helped them. So uh, I'll be using like 10-15 minutes roughly just to be sharing those things with you guys. So yeah, as I, as I mentioned, um, it's Ellen's talk show. I am Winnie, a mother of three children. My firstborn boy, he's a boy, uh, age nine. Second born, a girl, age seven. And the last born girl, and she's uh, six months. Six months, yeah. So um, today I would just quickly want to share with you one thing yeah one thing in 15 minutes um something along the lines of communication so um communication is very crucial as we all know it is very important as we all know but uh, i have learned through my years of uh, you know through my years generally that um sometimes we miss to understand how to communicate where to communicate, when to communicate, and also it's not um, because of uh, maybe, it's not because that maybe we don't know, but we just find ourselves communicating things that maybe we shouldn't communicate, or sometimes we tend to be quiet while we're meant to communicate. So it's, um, for me, communication, it's a, uh, it's a balanced thing that you need to get, you need to strike the right balance uh, when it comes to communication. A person, you're meant to speak 20% and listen 80%. You know, I remember my mom used to tell me, you need to be a good listener. You used to, you know, she'll always emphasize on and on and on. Like, Winnie, you need to be a good listener. You need to be a good listener. And then I, I, I remember one time when I said, like, after I finished my form four, you know, when she said it, like, uh, helping me out to uh, fill in, like, application forms for jobs, for little jobs while I was waiting for my results and stuff like that. I remember uh, on my CV, she used to put a good listener, a good listener, <laughs> you know, a good listener. Um, so, so from that, I have been coached to be a good listener. So I personally speak less, but listen more. And there's times when I just think to myself, oh, Winnie, you know, because you don't talk too much, they are not too, you're not good or because I don't talk too much, maybe people uh, would want to involve me in their things. Um, because I don't talk too much, you know, maybe I can't, I can't, um, I can't make good friendships and stuff like that. But I've, I've just, I've, when I came across that uh, quote, you know, that uh, statement that said that we are meant to list to speak 20% and 80% then I said oh God thank you although I have struggled with it you know over the years I did um, I'm not a person that g just gives up on something so what I believe I believe uh, I believe but I don't tend to to like make other person believe what I'm <laughs> what I'm believing if that makes sense so when I th when I saw that I thought okay okay so this is what I've been what I've practiced in my life is a good thing and perhaps you know I'll start sharing the little little things that I have learned in my life and speaking less and hearing more then I thought oh that's what's up that is good so I'll continue to build on what I've believed 
but then again you have to be very we have to be very careful because lack of communication is also harmful so this is where we this is what I'm trying to say that we have to strike the right balance because if you don't talk if you don't speak you know it comes across as you're ignorant you're full of yourself you're uh, maybe you're not knowledgeable because you you know because you don't talk then you, you have got nothing to share that's what people assume which is sometimes is not true it's just a personality trait that somebody has but then again the other people that are very talkative they're so talkative like once you just say hello to them they will just flow they will tell they'll tell you everything like within within a very few minutes you'll know everything you know about their cows you'll know about uh, you know you know about their children you know about you know what they did yesterday you'd know everything and then sometimes you miss you miss to you miss in in a way that um you'll find yourself talking things that later on you'll be regretting why you said why why you why you told this person so and so you know what i mean and the fact that you have already spilled the beans it's very hard for you to to collect you know you know when 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 you spill water you know it's very hard to gather it back and get come to the right amount you get what i mean so i just i just i just um I just want to emphasize when it comes to communication that try and 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 strike the right balance. Talk. I'm learning to talk. I and I've learned to talk no 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 many years. Maybe about for the last 10 years maybe I would say I can talk to the people that I'm comfortable. Even for me, I need to I need to talk. I need to express myself a little bit more but not exceed okay and and for that person who who is very talkative i would urge you to um kind of review as to why you're you're very talkative i'll i'll say this why because there's some there's some there's some people that have been raised in a family whereby uh when they were young as soon as you know the dad asks something they have to give an answer or the mom asks something they have to give an answer if you don't give an answer you know either you get a smack or you know something so always they have something to cover something to say they always have i have answers for everything and then you wonder like why does this person have answers for everything okay so this is this is because their upbringing they have been um, They've been brought up in a, in a family where they had to give answers all the time. So they just feel that they're obliged to give answers. Okay? So they're, they're obliged that, to give answers, which is not the case. Sometimes it is okay for you to say, I haven't got the answer now, I'll come back to you. Okay? It is okay and it is really important, and I'll say it's really important, that you, it, for instance, if you're meeting a person for the first time, okay, Whoever starts the conversation, it's best for you to be quiet, to give that person a listening ear. Listen to what they're saying. Get to know them first before you converse back. But if you just, just jump into conclusion, just to think that, okay, to make yourself look the same as that person or, then it, 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 it will come to a point where you start regretting why you said what you said. I hope I'm clear. So, my 10 minutes to summarize is, I would just urge somebody out there, get the right balance. Speak only 20%. Listen 80%, okay? And then, get to, to know first the person before you pour out to that person. Women, we're very emotional. We're emotional people. But too much of it sometimes is it's harmful. And too much of anything is harmful anyway. But then you don't want to, f you you don't want to, um, you know, to find yourself that you're too attached to the person, and then later on you start regretting. So get the right balance. Listen, 
more, 80%, speak, 20%, get to know the person before you pour out your, before you pour out yourself to that person, before you say it all to that person, get to know somebody, take time, you know, take time. If somebody is meant, if, if, a, if a relationship is meant to be built, it will be built, okay, it will be built. Um, so get to know that person, get to know why they say the things they say, you know, uh, and it what, you know, in, for instance, for those, for married couples, you know, like, um, it could be something like along the lines of maybe if your husband has a certain drink or if your husband has a certain, you know, receives a, you know, after receiving a certain phone call, you know, they tend to be this, you know, this way. But then if everything that you you know your husband you haven't you haven't you haven't um observed him you haven't uh you haven't uh, you haven't learned how he communicates then it will be it will create a problem there will be a time for you that as a, as a, as a wife you need to you know be quiet listen even if you have a point to raise but maybe that time is not you know the appropriate time for you to raise that whatever whatever thing that you you have in heart you know so i would just urge all of us to you know and i repeat and i repeat that listen more speak less give people listen and an, an, an ear to listen if somebody gives you a call calls you you know hello hello really they're the ones who called you remember be there to be ready to listen to them you know not as soon as you know they call hey, you know you start going on and on and on and on as though they called you would have called that person first and for us and and this is i'm, I'm talking to myself as well for us who don't speak okay get the right you know strike the right balance in the sense that um get to um even if you don't talk to a person so often and you have a, a, a you have you've built a, a relationship with that person you know call them up say maybe hi how are you or give them a quick text hi how are you how have you been you know how are you doing i haven't heard from you maybe for an, you know two or three days because it is important to maintain communication and it is important to maintain relationships you know, you we can't live without relationship. You can't live without communication. So if if these two things are missing, you know, if they if they if you if it that if they are done, if um, sorry, if you give too much of communication or or you you make your other people misuse you when it comes to relationship, then you know you'll come re and regret it but if you strike the right balance between the you know between these two things then you should be fine you should be fine in in terms of your personal life and also in terms of um you know maybe in in any organization that you work for uh or if it's in your own business or if you're if you employ other people then you will get to know you know what to do okay but if we talk too much, you know, and then we don't listen, or if, if it's everything is, uh, it's your way, it's my way, it's always my way, it's always my way, then it doesn't work like that. It doesn't work like that, and you'll be very stressed. Remember, when you're talking to somebody as well, you know, use simple terms so that the other person can understand okay talk slowly take your time with that person when you're talking to them because some people uh, they um, they suffer from anxiety so as they as this as soon as you know start talking to them you know that's the way you talk they don't know if it's if it's the first time you know it co it causes anxiety to them so it is important as well just to get to strike the right balance and and you know and god will help us to get to um 
to where we want to get. The little that I've learned, I think I can be able to share with somebody and somebody will, um, will be able to be blessed by what I'm saying. Alright then, hope I'm clear. Any comments, uh, anything that uh, you feel like uh, maybe I could add into this conversation about communication, please let me know. Uh, drop me a comment uh, and uh, I shall see you next time. God bless you. Bye bye.